Hi, this is Soft Cell Video Productions, and I'm your host, John. In this episode, number 153, we're going over what needs to be complete before you begin the electrical installation. It is important that you make sure everything on the checklist is complete. The purpose of this video is to keep you from redoing work or having to reroute wire, or more importantly, to prevent from being stalled because you're waiting on a framer to complete a critical part of the structure. First and foremost, you want temporary power available to power all the tools you will be using. Next, make sure the roof is covered with shear. As you can see in this photo, there are trusses that are not even set. In the next photo, you see a roof that is sealed and loaded. In the garage, the hot water heater platform should be built and the copper grounding loop should be installed. This lets you ground the water system and install a hot water recirculation outlet if required. It is important you get all of your corners drilled for wire runs before the house is lathed or sheared. You can drill after a house is sheared, but it's a real pain in the neck. On a sheared corner, you have to be very precise where you drill. Make sure that all interior walls that require a shear wall is complete. In this photo of the kitchen, you can see the importance of this. Now this is really important. Make sure all the arches are already installed. This may keep you from having to reroute wire and repeat work. In this photo, you see the attic access with the switch and light. Know where the access hole is going to be even if it's not already framed in. It is important that the HVAC is already installed. That's air conditioning stuff. This way, you know where to run your air conditioning home run. Same goes for the forced air unit as shown in the rafters. You know just where to put the service outlet and where to terminate the home run. Be certain that all structural anchors or tie downs are installed. Some anchors are as high as three feet, which is well above your wire runs. Again, this will keep you from rerouting wire. All sink, shower, and toilet plumbing should be complete so that you can center your wall sconces or whatever type of lighting you're using on the walls above the sink. It also determines the location of the bathroom service outlet. In this photo, you see what we call a drop ceiling. It is very important that all drop ceilings are complete so you can mount any lighting boxes or switched outlets for things like rope lighting or LED special effects. Stairs must be complete for proper service outlet location. On the outside of the house, all pop-outs must be complete so that any accent lighting or sconces can be installed. All windows must be framed in as well as all doors and any pony walls. If not, you're at a standstill at that particular location. In this photo, you see a framed in fireplace. It is not ready to be wired until the actual fireplace is installed along with the flue. The reason is that it is your responsibility to hardwire the igniter on the fireplace and make sure there is a minimum of one inch clearance between the Romex wire and any part of the fireplace. Now here is a really good example of a fully framed house ready for plumbing, air conditioning, and windows, but not for wiring. Your time frame is very short and you have to be on top of the situation. You want all of the above to be complete, but you want to finish before the house gets to this point, which is called lathing, or especially this point. Installing service outlets on a stuccoed house is a major time killer. One last piece of advice, don't let an inexperienced owner builder force you into starting before the house is ready. Same goes for a pushy general contractor. Look the house over really good before you even begin layout. I recommend you review video number 150 
on construction contracts. You're going to encounter changes as you proceed and most builders are going to expect you to do these changes for free. A few small changes are okay, but anything that requires significant time because of a last minute change of mind is something you should be compensated for. That concludes this segment of how to wire a house from start to finish. Hope it helps you out and thanks for watching.